drawbar needs to go between the winch and this light here okay. so that it gives you enough space in between when you're loading the units back to back. Okay. And you're gonna pull it as far over as you can. And you'll go ahead and tighten your tower. Keep it from moving. And then this will be your loading position here. So it's a lot easier if you load one side of the truck at a time. So what you do is you can push on one side of the truck and just load your left hand side all the way down and then you'll use the forklift to load the back nine on. Um, just makes it a lot easier and fits in a little bit easier. position is such that the tower of the unit going on, in this case your right side, will be positioned between the two towers on the two trailers that are already on the left side. You'll notice that this is why the lights have to be rotated the way that they are. So when loading this one on, basically your measurement is this tower here. It's gonna go right in between the jacks of the next two units across from you. So it's just gonna fit right in the middle of it. So if you line up this tower, right in between the split the tires, you're good to go. Sean, do you ever nail those down or you just put them there as yeah, temporary? We nail them at the end. We do give the driver the option if they don't want them nailed down. Uh, but ultimately, we nail them at the end. Usually, on one of the sides, the strips don't line up, so we just cut little blocks, nail the blocks into the wood and into the chalk. You also notice that the front jacks are down. They're down in such a way that the trailers are level on the truck which means that you need to pay attention on extending the front jacks so that the little trailers set level on the flatbed. And you also notice that the one by three boards are positioned on the wooden runner in the flatbed so that the trailers won't roll off the flatbed backwards. <laughs> 